A very warm welcome to Pie Sports with me, Peter Trellis. And this is the second time we've uh, done some commentary for you at Disco Bright Golf Club. It's a sunny day. There's lots and lots of fun to be had in the golf course. I'd like to thank our sponsors. We don't have any, uh, so that won't take us long. So without further ado, let's have some pre-match interviews. Over to my reporting team. Next year will be good, mate. So, Danny, this year you didn't quite make the grade. Yeah, I had a few injuries this year, and my swing just wasn't drink, what it used to be. Drink it then to do with your the colour of your shoes. No, you not had, at all. Actually, at all. I, one week I wore red, white, and blue. And it was the worst game I played this year. Oh, well, you know, this that's that's a, a rarity, isn't it? Yes, I'm uh, usually uh, Hopefully, color. to see you back next year. Thanks, well, I'll Danny. be there. Yes. yes. Mitchell Ronald, superstar of East Kilbride Golf Club. How are you feeling this morning? Feeling great. Feeling great. Have you any, have you any sort of uh, thoughts of how you're going to play today? Uh, fairways and greens and be positive. Fairways and greens and be positive, okay. Uh, you do know we're doing random drug tests, uh, so if you <laughs> wouldn't mind just uh, popping into the gents and, uh, and the cup nope. provided, that'd be, that'd be wonderful. Okay. Uh, no one told me about that. Nobody told you about that, okay. Well. <laughs> are we going to have two knee drugs? <laughs> <laughs> and to the first tee we go, uh, we have James Riley here, one of the longest hitters I think I've ever seen, sponsored by Farm Foods and some other companies, he's done well this year in endorsements, nice chap, playing Callaway but works in the night store so I'll have to figure that one out later and if you're ready for the, the bomb to go off Please cover your ears as James takes to the stage here at the first club championship 2015. Yeah, all James. James. Wow. That's longer than long. That's scary long. That's long. Wow. And over strolling to the, the first Mitchell Ronald, son of former. European Tour player Craig Ronald and most importantly grandson of Jimmy the legend Moretti. Go on Mitchell. Woof! <clears throat> what a lunge there into the into the shot. And our resident Active, uh, jumping about the team member, Steph Heap. Steph's one of the liveliest characters I think I've seen. It's Mr. Tickle in the Mr. Men series. On you go. Oh, no, doesn't like it. He's away. But, more to come. Craig Williamson. On the tee, although it's his son's 18th birthday today, so I'm sure his wife will be over the moon. Uh, he's sporting his white trip. Oh, nice. Nice one, Craig. A bit left, but not too bad. Uh, all the best explaining to your wife why you're in the golf course and it's your son's birthday. So now. Okay. Stuart Taylor here. Uh, Boss of the moss over at uh, Killerman Golf Club. This man knows more about grass than the average fellow. Son of former professional here also. Nice swing there by Stuart. And Davy Hickinson. A legend in many departments of golf. His most favourite department, as he confessed, is the bar. Uh, to be fair, so is mine. So, uh, and that's probably why we we are uh, like each other. Lovely, smashed down the first. Yeah, well done. And they're away. Ah, Ronnie Neal, straight Ronnie, as he's known. It sounds worse than it probably uh, was meant to. Ronnie, here. Opting to lay up of the bunker, I'm sure. Yep, and lay up right. Looks over the moon about that, doesn't it? Kieran McVicker, my assistant. Yep, 
My one very Debbie McGee and I'm Paul Daniels. Hits it into the stratosphere on a daily occurrence. Which stratosphere sometimes is a the question. Another Saturday off for Kieran. Tell you what he does well. Absolutely. And if anybody wants to show him where the Hoover is and how to switch it on, I'd be very, very much appreciated. So here goes the bomber. Yep. It's away. Ah, now, young Cameron Bimmer, fresh from the States. Reminds me of me when I was younger, apart from I was just in a few states, uh, not in America, just to, usually falling out of nightclubs. So, lovely attire for the day, rolled up shorts, could be going to the beach. Yeah, lovely rhythm. Excellent. Very relaxed attitude. Kenny Gallagher just telling everybody to get out of the way. It's like anybody around him when he's playing. Couple of swishes. A few more. That's it, Kenny. Yep. Today. Oh, worth the wait, ladies and gentlemen. Straight down the middle. Start to fade, smidgen down line. Yep, well done. Ross Hinchwood. Past champion. Very methodical here. Loves a bit of Titleist and Fitch Riders Ross. It's a swinger of the golf club. He's similar to Kenny Gallagher. Just slightly younger. Quite a bit younger actually to be fair. Okay. Yep. A few bit left, but not bad. Not bad. Okay. Graham Ormsby. Not Graham Hornsby, as I once said uh, in my early part of my school bike career. Uh, caused a bit of a problem, so sorry about that, Graham, again. The man in black today, current champion, ready to let rip with an assault in his ball. Lovely. Big drawer of the ball, I'd imagine, from that finish. Oh. Let's see what's happening here. Eddie Hernan at nine. No. Nope. Tell you what, there's a lot of white trousers about. Let's hope they've all got a little bit of vanish and a very hot machine cycle. Because I'm sure there'll be a bit of nerves today. My camera works gets suddenly very bad here. What's going on here? I think I might have fallen asleep. No, nope. I don't know what's going on there. No idea. Yeah, I think I've fallen asleep. I don't know who I'm talking to. I'm casting a dispersion over that. No, I don't know what's going on there. It's Jack. Finishing off. Lovely. And Bill oh, Cribbins, I'm going for a walk. What am I doing? Mitchell Ronald here at nine. Super stroke. Just not enough for the young pretender. And over we go again to nine. Oh, there's somebody wanting to his money. Yes, that'd be Steph Heap again, larger than life character. And here he is again, strolling about, around 33 with one par on the card. That's the exciting stuff that Steph can display on demand when playing golf at his club ride. He steps up. Oh no, no. I think a squirrel's put him off in the trees there, to be honest. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable those little furry animals putting people off. And he's gonna go back in again. 
settle himself. No squirrels that time from Steph. And the ball sails into the beautiful sky at 10. Mitchell Ronald here. Yep. Oh, it's well executed. Unfortunately, my cameras are so bad I can't follow the ball. I can assure you that was pretty good. And back on to James Riley. The Terminator. James recently fresh from caddying for Mark Warren in Aberdeen. Unfortunately, James was released the next day by Mark. Uh, finished fourth, I think, but no longer required. Uh, so James told me. Lovely action. And again, camera work poor. But over to Ronnie Neal here. Behind the bunker. Or is he on a small step ladder? I don't know. But the short game skills like that. He must be the palest Spaniard you've ever seen in your life. And here he is again. Sweater off. After things heating up on nine. Seven wood, nine wood. Or rescue. I'm hoping it's not a nine wood. And we'll have to have some discussions in the shop. That's fine. And here's Bimmer. His hair wouldn't go amiss in the lovely musical Bugsy Malone in the early 80s. And his outfit today, courtesy of Gap. And let's see. And surely there's got to be some fake bacon on those legs. And then nothing, nothing, the weather's not been that good. And again, up there. And straight back at you, Boomer. How he's gone back to hole nine. I think we'll have to speak to the editing department. I think I might be drunk at this point with the camera. Maybe I'm just homing in a couple of lovely shrubs in the foreground. And it's Boomer again from a distance. Again, you can tell those mahogany legs and beige shorts. Either that or a scout is nipped on from the local church. And that's high, wide and handsome. And like John Travolta in the 70s, it's on the dance floor. Kieran looking up, thrashing that club about, hoping for some magic to appear in the end of his wand. For such a big lad, he does have soft hands. And let's see if those soft hands can come to fruition here at 13. Oh, he must have caught him real in the end of his wedge, because oh, that has just danced around the pit. Well done, Kieran. Oh, there's a young caddy, obviously, from Holland. And there's the man exploiting the child labour, Stevie Morrison. Stevie, a man that can still pull off a tank top in his mid 30s. That's what he tells me, anyway. It's a lovely. Last time I saw a warm up was like that, it was in TVM. And let's go through it again. That's right, Stevie, let's do it again. Let's just make sure that everything's good to go. And we'll load that pistol. And just get ready to pull the trigger anytime now. Yep, go on Stevie. Oh. So if you want somebody to blame for why I'm here at East Kilbride, here's your man, Stuart Wilson. He gave me the job last year, so the hate mail can be directed to him. So the champ, Ian Duff, won in a spectacular playoff with Ross Hinchwood. Unfortunately, I have no footage of them, uh, so I'll have to obviously sack my camera crew, which is me, and sack the production team, which is me. 
So I hope you enjoyed this and from Pi Sports, it's good night.